fracas. Uh, you know, it was early. Um, I thought we had a first two. First two drives were pretty good. We moved the ball down there, had opportunities. Uh, new coming into it, you know, that's it's an explosive offense we were going against. We had to capitalize. Uh, couldn't convert the third downs in the red area on the first two drives, and couldn't convert the fourth down. And um, you know, from there it, it got ugly quick. But you know, days like today happen, and it's disappointing. Um, you know, I, I thought they played very well. I thought we played poorly, and. Um, you know, when, when you do that, you're going against a good football team and get ugly quickly. But, you know, we've, we've got to put it behind us. Uh, that's part of, of being a professional and being, you know, mentally tough is, is, you know, when you get knocked down, you got to get back up quick. And we've got a Thursday night game this week. And uh, we've got to have a great attitude getting into the building tomorrow so we can play our best Thursday night. This is usually a, a college theory, but was there any sort of hangover from, from last week and the way you guys won last week? And um, I don't think so. You know, typically you see that when the practices aren't good or, you know, the attention to detail is not there. I, I, I thought, you know, I thought we prepared pretty well during the week. We just, we didn't get the job done and we did, you know, didn't play up to the way that we're capable of. And so, um, again, you know, it, it happens. It's a long season. It counts just one, you know, no matter how ugly it is, it counts just as one loss. And, um, you know, we've got, we've got to put it behind us and get back to work tomorrow. What does it say about the offense that, there wasn't a receiver that caught a pass until I think it was 11 minutes in the third quarter. Well, I mean, we didn't play well anywhere, <laughs> so you know it's 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 not about any one position across the board. Uh, you know, we all didn't you know take care of our business, and um, you know we we can do better than that, and we need to we need to do better than that moving forward. Owner Arthur Blake said he wanted you all to be competitive this year. This was the first time you, you all weren't able to, you know, have a game. Uh, how do y'all try to move forward from a non-competitive game? Well, I think you understand, you know, it, it, it just counts one. Um, you know, as ugly as it is, you know, we, we get 17 of these opportunities. And today is one in the loss column. But we still got, you know, eight more chances to go out there. And, um, you know, I, I, I think we're better than we played today, and, and we just need to play up to the standard that we're capable of doing. In the game Thursday, that, does that help that it's you know right in front of you here? You don't have the long week to, to get ready for another game. Yeah, I think you know we've got no other no other option than to view it as you know it helping. And and I think you know I think one of the things uh, as we get on this flight and we start to you know make our way back. I know for me, it's on to New England and, and trying to take a look at what they're doing, get a jump start on them. And uh, whether it was win or loss, that's, that's got to be the mindset. And, um, you know, maybe it comes at a good time. We've got to flush this one out and, and just get back to work. This was your lowest passer rating since game two in uh, the Monty Kiffin game in, in 08. Um, I remember that one, too. Yeah. It was ugly. <laughs> Yeah, they, you know, uh, you know, hopefully it'll be another 13 years until I have another, you know, rating like that. That's, that's kind of the way I view it. It's, uh, it's one of the days it just, you know, it, it, it wasn't for us. We didn't play well. I didn't play well. And, um, you know, you got to get back to work. And, and trust me, you know, I, I really believe that we're going to get back there next week, play really well. Do you spend any time at all on, um, on the, this tape? Or is it just kind of gone because you have the Patriots coming up so quickly? No, you definitely take a look at, at what we did today and uh, the corrections that we have to make. I always think, you know, there's uh, there's good learning opportunities from from day like you know days like today, and um, they're wasted. You know, and a, a day like today is wasted if you don't learn from it. And so, you know, I'll definitely look at it and, and make sure uh, we're making the corrections we need to make. I have to have to ask if you think there was any factor at all in, in having a defensive coordinator on the other side who's so with such intimate knowledge of, of you and this offense, did that add an effect? And did you have a chance to talk to Dan? I saw Dan briefly before the game and, uh, you know, just gave him a hug and, and said good luck today. And uh, I'll catch up with you at some point after. But um, Dan's a, you know, he, he credit to them, you know, credit to him and, and credit to their defense. I thought he did a great job, you know, putting those guys in position uh, to be successful and, and their guys made plays. So, um, I thought Dan coached a, a really good game.
think you all have more success getting open against man coverage today. You've been playing a lot of man, so clearly you knew that was coming. Uh, yeah, we've got to do a better job than we did today um, of you know creating separation, being accurate with the ball, and protecting. I think across the board, whether it's man or zone, uh, we've got to do a better job. Ben, your experience, what does it take to keep a loss like this from hanging over on and bleeding into the, the next week? Yeah, I think that you know the, the longer you play, you get better perspective and, and you know I keep harping on it. it it's just one. you know it just, it just counts one. no matter how ugly it is, it just counts as one uh, in the win loss column. And so um, you know really good teams, really good players are the guys that you know can move on from success or move on from disappointment and uh, get back into you know, working with the right mindset to get better and to, you know, play their best the following week. And so that's what we need to focus on. There hasn't been offensive consistency necessarily this year. It's a good question. You know, if I had the answer, we, we'd be more consistent. But, I mean, I, I, I don't have a good answer for you. Is that, I mean, is that, is that maybe the frustrating part of all of this? Like, you put up 30 one week and then three or six, you know, which has happened before. It's always frustrating when you put up three, you know. I think that um, the expectation is to come in and, and be explosive and, and score points and, you know, do whatever we need to do in order to win the football game. And, you know, when you have a day like today, it's, it's definitely frustrating. But they happen. And um, you've got to find a way to, to be better the following week. And, um, you know, consistency be good for us. We've been saying it all year, consistency. We'd like to be more consistent, but uh, we certainly weren't today. You said, you know, you felt like, and Arthur said it too, that you felt like there was, this was a good week of practice. Like, were there any signs throughout the week? Because you've been doing this long enough. Were there any signs that said maybe this could potentially be the outcome? I don't think so. You know, I, I really don't. And um, that's part of sport, you know, is, is that, the ball bounces and the game is played and things happen and it gets out of uh, your control. But I think, you know, I constantly harp on good process and I thought the process was good. Um, we need to stay in that and be strong enough to, to understand that good process ultimately leads to more consistent results. And um, sometimes it doesn't go that way, but you have to stay in that pocket and prepare really well. Thank you, Matt. All right, thank you.